One of the easiest concepts you can learn in Excel to start making cool designs like you see in all my videos is understanding transparency. It's what makes all of this possible. The regular subscribers have heard me explain how Excel has layers and how these are what we use to start getting things out of the grid and into these cool designs. To do that, each little design element has to have a transparent background, but that's not what Excel typically does by default. If I insert a text box, by default it's got this big white background with an outline. Same thing when you drop in a chart, all of these things have backgrounds and you can't see what's behind them and it's hard to layer things together. So first thing you need to know is that under your formatting menu you can go no fill and all the way down here go no border and that's going to drop out the backgrounds on charts and text boxes that sort of thing. And when you're dealing with images this is also going to come up a lot. But what you're going to want to do are use PNG or GIF image types. Those are the two image types that allow you to include transparency so that you can have a clear background and see whatever's behind in the empty spaces around the edges. Fun thing about this if you use GIFs is that you can actually insert animated images as well or looped videos and that sort of thing and there's lots of GIFs that have transparent backgrounds like this. You'll also see me use a lot of transparency in my gradients like this. See how this gradient kind of goes from one color to a transparent color on the other side. It's a super useful trick for getting your gradients to look a little bit better or kind of fine-tune them after you drop them in. You'll see the little transparency wheel right here to adjust that. So when you see these cool little bar charts that I do that with the gradient, that's all we've done is just made one side transparent. And also just be a general color palette trick. If you take a color, put it on your background, and then make the whatever shape you have the color in slightly transparent, the background color is going to show through and it's going to make the colors kind of look a little bit more cohesive and make the color palette work a little better. It's just a nice little workaround you can use. This is just one of those little concepts and little tricks that can drastically improve the look and the feel of the dashboards and reports you build, and it's worth going and experimenting with, so go try it out. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye for now, folks.